our bodies need insulin to metabolize glucose to create energy. Access to insulin means life or death for millions of type 1 diabetics like myself. Before insulin was discovered, diabetes was a death sentence. Patients typically died within weeks or months after diagnosis. But in 1921, insulin was discovered by Sir Frederick Banting. The first versions of it were extracted from animals. And it took two tons of pig pancreases to make just eight ounces of insulin. Ironically, Banting sold the patent rights to the University of Toronto for just one dollar in an effort to make insulin easily available to those who needed it. But since 2002, the price of insulin has more than tripled. But the reason why insulin is priced so high is complicated. It involves negotiations between manufacturers, pharmacies, insurance companies, and middlemen. Even lawmakers are trying to figure out who to blame for the high price. The price of insulin has tripled during the last decade. 50, 60 years or more with the production of insulin by pharmaceutical companies, and we have no generics. In the 1970s, researchers discovered a way to synthesize human insulin in a lab, which turned out to be more effective than animal insulin. Since then, insulin makers have continued to innovate, and with each new form of insulin, they get faster and better than the previous versions, making the older ones obsolete and patent protections have hindered others from entering the market. U.S. pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly was the first to commercially produce insulin in the 1920s, but many of its older insulin formulations have not been patent protected for several years. And yet, there are still no generic, cheaper forms of them available on the market. In a statement, Lilly said, there aren't many insulin manufacturers because discovering, developing, and manufacturing insulin is scientifically and technically very precise, difficult, and requires billions of dollars in long-term investments. Companies have to make a long-term commitment to be in this industry. Not many are able or willing to do so. In the meantime, insulin continues to be very expensive. Insulin manufacturers have started offering assistance programs, and there are global campaigns by organizations such as T1 International and JDRF who are working to make insulin more affordable. You know, these situations are really tragic, that, that people would have problems accessing insulin, which is necessary for people with type 1 diabetes to, to stay alive. So you know, we need companies, we need the federal government, we need employers, we need health plans, we need everybody to do their part in order to make insulin more affordable. We need